there were always big, um, big gatherings and family reunions. Chanel Kelton has tons of memories of growing up in this home. In 1875, it was the first house built in what became the free African-American community of Jonesville in rural Montgomery County, Maryland. Named Jonesville for the brothers who built the house, Richard and Erasmus Jones. Paul Gerdulo is the museum curator who helped acquire the house in 2009. He says it tells a fundamental story that's been forgotten in America. About African Americans' visions of freedom and their realizations of freedom in the period immediately following the Civil War, something that we know as Reconstruction. And to me, this house was a tangible symbol of that period. Called the Freedom House at the museum, it also carries the title of being the Jones Hall Sims House, named for the families who lived there for more than a hundred years. Kelton recalls the love she shared here with her grandparents, Paul and Barbara Sims, and of her great-great-grandfather, John Sims. It's a honor to have been able to meet him and to um, have him in my life and to recall, you know, memories. I can remember him in what we would call in the house, the old kitchen, making uh, flat jacks. Over the years, Kelton's family members and other artisans in the community helped put additions onto the house. They all were builders. They all work with their hands. They all were in some type of trade, field, construction. The house was stripped of those additions in order to move the cabin to the museum. Gardulo says the men who built the house did so on the property where they were formerly enslaved. That original two-story high log house that two brothers, along with their community, built that day as a symbol of their freedom that they were standing tall in the world. And it quite literally did that. It moved them upstairs. Being upstairs also offered them a chance to keep watch over the land and protect themselves from people who did not want them to be free. A feature of the house that both Gardulo and Kelton marvel at to this day, the stairs. You see the grooves of the people's feet that landed, their footfalls landing on those stairs. Uh, over generations. It wasn't no walking down those steps. We stomped. I know I did. People from Jonesville joined with other African-American communities in places like Martinsburg or Jerusalem, which are now in modern-day Poolsville, to worship, socialize, and go to school. This cluster of buildings reflects the work that blacks did to build institutions in the aftermath of the Civil War as sources of strength education, spiritual sustenance, and protection. Kelton hopes that anyone who hears this story sees more than a cabin or a house. You can feel and you can sense the strength, the determination, and the perseverance that they had. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News. And like all Smithsonian museums, the National Museum of American African American History and Culture is closed due to the pandemic, of course, but a date for reopening has not been set. But we do want to thank the museum for providing us those great inside shots of Freedom House.